Oh, hey guys, how's it going? We're in a, another week of trying to figure out how to just sit at home and maybe do our schoolwork and, and navigate these weird changes that are taking place in all of our lives. You know, I'm sure that like you, many of us are are missing different things from our lives right now. We're we're used to having things like school or being able to go to the movies or sports or playing with our friends. And right now we just don't have those things going on. And so it's challenging to figure out what do we do with our time? What do we what do we practice? What do we look towards? What do we study for? It's a challenging thing. You know, one of the things that uh, I'm used to having around in my life this time of the year, and it's been a part of my life for a long time, and that I really miss right now, is baseball. Okay, Baseball's been a part of my life since I was a little kid. I played all the way up from t-ball uh, till I was in high school. And it was just this crazy thing. I looked forward to it every spring, and it was a great time. And it's continued to be a part of my life as I've grown up and become an adult. I've moved from playing into coaching and now umpiring. And it's just such a great gift I feel like God has given me. But uh, I also value it because it taught me something. And uh, baseball taught me the benefit of hard work and putting effort into something. You see, when I first started playing... I wasn't very good. Couldn't catch very well, couldn't throw, really couldn't hit. In fact, I probably looked a little bit like this. <laughs> okay. So, we have all that going for us, right? And you see that kid tumbling and hitting, and that's probably what I looked like when I was a little kid. But I put in the effort and I put in the time to get better. I made my mom take me to the batting cages, made my brother and dad play catch with me, and eventually I got to the point where I was, I was pretty good. I wasn't good enough to play in the pros, but pretty good. Good enough to enjoy it and have fun and, and feel like I wasn't the worst kid on the team. But I really feel like God used that opportunity. I feel like God used baseball to teach me a lesson. And it's this, is that sometimes the best things in our life take hard work. And that includes our relationship with God. Sometimes our relationship with God requires that we practice, that we put effort into getting to know Him. You know, there's a, a story in the Bible that, that kind of helps remind me of that point. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus is walking through a town and he is surrounded by this crowd of people. He's, he's on his way to go heal a sick child. And while he's walking there, there is a woman in the crowd. And this woman is special because she has some sort of sickness that she's had for her entire life. She's wasted her entire life savings paying doctors and healers and different people to try to heal her. And it just hasn't worked. And so she's done. She doesn't have any other choice. But... She hears that Jesus is coming to town. And she's also heard that Jesus is a healer. And so she says, you know what? If I can get to Jesus, if I can talk to him and ask him, he might just heal me. And so she goes, but by the time she finds Jesus, she's really discouraged because there's already a huge crowd around him. But she doesn't let that stop her. She fights her way through the crowd. She fights her way through all the people. And by the time she gets to the front, Jesus is walking by. She just manages to reach out and grab his clothes. And when she does that, instantly she's healed. And Jesus also feels the power leave him. He feels the Holy Spirit's power leave him and heal this woman. And so he stops and he says, who touched me? And everybody looks around and Nobody really knows. And he says, who touched me? And he calls it out again a couple times. And finally, when the woman realizes that he's not going to give it up, when the woman realizes that he wants to know who touched him, she comes forward and she says, it was me. I touched you. And this is where Jesus does a very Jesus thing. He does something really cool here. In the Bible, in Mark chapter 5, verse 34, he says to this woman, Jesus said to her, Daughter, you took a risk of faith, and now you are healed and whole. Live well, live blessed, 
Be healed of your sickness. So you see, Jesus tells this woman that it's his, her, his power, her faith that healed her. Her belief in Jesus was just as powerful as the Holy Spirit's power. She had to believe that Jesus could heal her. She had to put in the effort and do all of the work to get there to have that opportunity. You guys, that principle hasn't changed today. That principle is still very valid. If we want to know God, if we want to experience God in our life, sometimes that takes effort from us. Just like in sports, if you're practicing, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, whatever it is, if you want to get better at it, you have to practice. Same thing applies to our relationship with God. If we want to know God more, if we want to grow in God, if we want to experience more of His power, we have to put an effort into getting to know Him. Just like we have to get to know our friends and we have to get to know the other people in our class and the people around us, we have to put an effort into getting to know God. And it, You have to put in so much effort sometimes that it needs to be the most important thing in your life. The Bible also talks about a man named Paul. And Paul talked about pressing on, moving forward, setting goals that led him into closer relationship with God. So the question I have for you this week is, how can you get closer with God? I know you're young, you're little, you have all these challenges, maybe some of you can't even read. But that doesn't mean that you can't grow closer to God. That doesn't mean that you can't pray. That doesn't mean that you can't ask mom and dad to read you the Bible. So think about this week. How can I put in some effort into developing my relationship with God? How can I practice getting closer to God? Well, guys, that's all I got for you this week. I hope you have a great week. Know that we love you. Know that Miss Peggy loves you and I love you. And that we cannot wait to be back together with you again at Kids Church, Kids Club, and Sunshine Singers. I hope that you have a great week with your families. Enjoy this time. Be good. Listen to your parents. Do your homework. I'm going to pray with you, and then we'll go. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for everything that you will continue to do for us. Help us to grow. Help us to seek after you, to look towards you, and to follow the plan that you have for our lives. God, help us to press on, to put in effort into getting to know you. Because if we can do that, we surely will not regret it. We know that you love us and we thank you for Jesus. And we pray that you walk with us this week as we seek to know you better. In your name we pray. Amen.